Welcome to Ramson Reddix Interviews. I'm Christoph. I'm here with Timon from Astrolescent. Hello, Timon. Hi, good morning. Thanks, Christoph. Hey, um, um, would you give us a little bit of an introduction to the founders and the project? Yes, of course. Um, I'm Timon, a uh, software developer by trade, but uh, have been a startup founder all my life. Uh, turned investor, turned startup coach. And when I joined crypto way too late, uh, I got interested in Redix and, uh, and met Maronim. Uh, Maronim founded Astrolescent uh, about a year ago. Um, unfortunately, due to stress and then personal conditions, he took a step back uh, and I took over. Uh, I run Astrolescent together with Aiden, uh, who helps with marketing uh, community management. Um, but mostly uh, we work together with our community. Um, Astrolescent, uh, in technical terms, is what they call an aggregator. So we're a, a one-stop shop for trading tokens on Radix. Uh, and we find you the best deal, uh, looking at all the liquidity available across the different uh, trading platforms, the DEXs. Uh, we optimize the amount uh, we send to each of the uh, trading pools <clears throat> to make sure you get the most tokens back. Sounds really amazing. So what was the primary vision that drove the founding of the project? The vision that there <clears throat> will probably be too many DEXs uh, and each one is specialized for a certain use case. Uh, DeFi Plaza, for example, really is looking into getting the most money back to liquidity providers. Uh, OG Swap is looking at concentrated liquidity and, and hosting as many tokens as possible. So when you, as a, say, consumer, wants to trade tokens, uh, you have to start making decisions. Do I go to OG? Do I go to DeFi Plaza? Um, and, and it would be really nice to have just one place and have an algorithm figure out uh, which taxes to use. So when you go to Astrolescent, you're always sure that you get the most tokens back and then you don't have to make that calculations yourself. Wow, so, so you basically are taking over the role for the user to take the best decisions, right? Yeah, yeah, basically. Wow, sounds really, really good. So what are the key milestones that have defined the project's trajectory? Who uh, we launched, I think, last year in September, uh, thanks to the native assets on Redix, there are already several what they call CDEXs live, so centralized, decentralized exchanges. Um, but even without the smart contracts, uh, it was possible to set up trading platforms on, on Redix. I think there are five or six right now. Um, and we figured, why not start before the smart contracts if we can already offer value? Um, then in... So ho hold on, hold on. Yeah. Is, your, is your project already live? Yes. Yeah, oh, it has been live wow. almost a year. Uh, and we're now working on, uh, on Babylon Sport. Wow, really amazing. I'm just joking, obviously. I I used your product already in the past. <laughs> <That's nice>. <laughs> <laughs> so um, looking ahead, no, so, uh, what are some future plans uh, and developments on the horizon? Well, of course, we're going to support Babylon. Um, but maybe even more important for our users is that we're turning Astrolescent into a DAO, uh, what they call a decentralized autonomous organization. Uh, in, 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 in the more technical terms, um, we're basically becoming community driven as much as possible. Uh, so we believe that with a small team as ourselves, we cannot do it all by ourselves. Uh, and we really love the support from our community, uh, what they're already doing. Um, but we want to figure out how far can we make this community driven. Um, I'm also part of the DeFi Plaza project uh, for about two years. So I do have quite some experience running a DAO uh, and I learned what I would have done different. And that's also what we're going to apply to the Astrolescent DAO. So there will be coming revenue into the DAO, which means that we have a treasury and, and money to spend. Which might also mean that, that we uh, no longer do all the development, but we give out grants for other people to, to help and join us. Uh, we can spend the money on marketing. Uh, we're looking into revenue sharing with Astral holders. 
Uh, I think that's the biggest uh, new thing that we want to uh, introduce as soon as possible uh, to really transform ourselves into a community-driven project. I mean, honestly, I think looking at what Dexter is doing at the moment, it really makes sense. And oh, I think amazing. the community, the community yeah. aspect really works. Uh, yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. It's a very yeah. good idea. So, yeah, and, um, and so we yeah. also see it on Ethereum, uh, Ethereum happening a lot uh, with, for example, SushiSwap, that's uh, very much community driven. Uh, and we're looking into some DAOs on Solana that use grants to do development. Um, and really try to get you know, to learn from the best and not reinvent the wheel. But I, I agree, Dexter is amazing to follow. Uh, how they self-organize, how they pay contributors. I'm uh, I'm impressed with what they're doing. Yeah, it's it's me too. Yeah. So and I think it's it's gonna work. So before we wrap up, do you have any exciting teasers for the community? So a teaser might be that we're uh, trying to launch a off-chain governance portal. Uh, before Babylon launches, so that in the next, say, one or two weeks, we can actually start testing how we are as a DAO offering governance votes. Of course, not on chain, because that will only be possible after Babylon. Um, but I think we, we should already start experimenting. And I, there is a beta version live at the moment, and mm -hmm. uh, we hope to launch in one or two weeks the official one. So, and the, the smart contract for Astrolescent, you expect it to go live right after Babylon, or? Yeah, we're looking into how much is actually needed. Uh, unfortunately, we can only build the, uh, the pricing functions after we see them from the DEXs. So we're a little bit dependent on them. Of course, we will launch directly with DeFi Plaza support uh, and then have a look at how fast we can implement the other DEXs. But hopefully days after Babylon, not more. Perfect. That's all I wanted to hear. So final, uh, final question for me, where can the community find you? Astrolescent.com or since everybody is on Telegram in the channel Astrolescent underscore official. Perfect. Thank you. This is Christoph with Timon from Astrolescent. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.